For most of us, it feels a little bit more like communion if we're headed into the church kitchen instead of our own. Because we know what we find in the church kitchen. We know that in the church kitchen, there are the fancy things, the communion things. Chalices and patents, not just cups and plates. A pitcher just for communion. At least the things are there if we know where to look for them. I wonder, as we look around our own kitchens, as we figure out what we're going to use for communion, does it feel less holy, less like communion, because it is so every day? It's so much more every day than assembling the church things, the things used just for communion, things we're used to seeing on the table in worship. I would venture, though, that these things, these holy things that you are pulling out of your kitchen, whatever you have for bread, for juice, are just as holy. In fact, they might just be a reminder for what Jesus did. He took the most ordinary things of all and he called them holy. As you gather whatever you have for bread and cup, we remember together. For I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took a loaf of bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Let us pray. Most holy God, we eat this bread and drink this cup not because we are hungry in our bodies, but because we are hungry in our souls. We pray that this be nourishment for our souls and to teach us how to be more like you. In Jesus' name, amen.